Hi guys, fan cams next on's Dave. Dave one one at Millwall. Um, it's a good point, isn't it? Really, I think it's a good point, but not necessarily a good performance, really overall. Uh, fantastic points. I'm more than happy with that. Yeah, uh, especially under the circumstances, it was a dreadful, dreadful afternoon of football mm. weather-wise. Uh, not the conditions you want to play football in. You can't play proper football in those mm. conditions. Mm. And you know we've we've come away with a, a, a very decent point, in my opinion. Yeah, I, like we said in preview, we'd have took point before game. Obviously, on the performance, it probably weren't the greatest performance, but I don't think Millwall really hammered us in terms of football either, did they? I think they had probably better chances in second half, but other than that, you know, I think it were always going to sort of, even at nil-nil, you could see maybe we're going to have a nil-nil all, written all over it type of game, type of yeah. feeling to it. Yeah, the, for the first half was um, it was just it was a it was a strange sort of game, and you know we had the best of the possession. I thought then the stats came up on my follow, and it was completely different, which I couldn't understand. Mm. But Millwall never looked like threatening us. You know, we looked the more dangerous, and um, yeah, if we could have carried out that into the second half, we could have. I think we could have gone on and won that game. But w once again, they've just not come out in the second half and performed. Mm. Yeah, and I, I were actually worrying, like, first five, ten minutes at second half, whether we were going to see another one of them. Well, I mean, conceding, I mean, we take lead, take lead, Dave, great goal. And they say, don't they, they say you're most vulnerable when you've just scored. And mm. we, we, we make it, we, and you know what I mean? Second, second Saturday in a row where we're conceding straight after we scored. I know it were second half of last week, like, but still, you know, I don't know where it is. We seem to panic, don't we, when we take, when we score. And we can't seem to hold on to it. Yeah, it's like Luke says, it's just bad game management. Mm. You know, and you know, it, you are the most vulnerable when you score. And that's why you need to take extra care. It's, you know, we, we scored at the perfect time. Yeah. The perfect time. But then we conceded at the worst possible time. You know, it's they're on the ascendancy then, Millwall, and you know, it's it's, it's just it's the same shit, different game. Mm. You know, we we just concede after we score or we can see just before or just after half time it's really poor games management uh, game management mm. and um, I'm really glad that Murray's not going to get the job full time because I just don't think he's got the tactics mm. and the, the football in brain to sort it out properly I think um, you know under a new manager hopefully we can cut out these sort of errors Yeah do you, th do you think Woodrow uh, would have made a difference today because it were a big blow in picking up that injury um, just before kickoff. Uh, do you think he would have made a difference, or do you still think it'd have been a similar sort of game for us? I think it would have been a completely different game if um, Williams hadn't got injured in the warm-up along mm. with Woodrow. Um, yeah, it's um, it, it scuppers your plans at the, at the final minute, isn't it? and you've got to change your, the way you're going to play then. And you know, to be fair today, Chaplin. He's he's not a man that can play up front on his own or with freezer just behind him. They're both quite short, and you know, mm. pumping the balls in the air, they're just not effective at all. They look completely cut off. If you had Woodrow up front, obviously he's got more of a threat in the air. He holds the ball up better. I think it would have been a completely different game. Mm. Yeah, I mean that was the thing we said in preview about knocking balls up long. We were, we were almost feeding Millwall it, uh, especially to two strike to, uh, to them to all. Uh, you know they were never going to win anything, never going to hold it up uh, properly. I felt like we were very short up front, and I think would you would you say it's a it's a clear indication of how much a free agent striker needs to come in now. It is, yeah. I mean, you know, before today, it was evident we needed another striker, you know, at least one other striker. Um, I'm not sure what, what the injury was to Woodrow, but, you know, if he's out for if, for more than today's game, it's it's a worry. Um, yeah, it's we, we definitely need to get somebody in. And, um, you know, look what Millwall have done. At the last minute, they've got Zahor in, and he was a proper menace when he came on today, and mm. he had that chance near the end and he nearly won it for him. We need someone like that, someone that's mm. got that aerial threat, uh, yeah. Threat on the floor as well, you know, and you know he, he looked very dangerous when he came on, and we need that sort of player in our squad. Mm. Yeah, we, we, we're small, aren't we? We're, we're small team, but you know, apart from defenders, everyone else is, is, is small. You know, not not really good in air. Maybe Woodrow, obviously, but apart from that, you take Woodrow away. Who do you turn to in terms of like? You know, like, like Woodrow's been injured today and all fans are already like going, oh my God, you know, it shouldn't really be like that. It should be, well, we should have somebody capable, especially away from home, a big target man, to for, perfect for these sort of games. Do you know what I mean? Away at Millwall, you know, and, and then you can lump ball up. 
Yeah, um, I'm not a fan of lumping the ball up anyway, but you know, in in these sort of away games, it's um, you know, sometimes it's the, the most effective thing to do. But mm. obviously, you need that that um, that tall and strong front man to yeah to, to make the best of it and to make it more effective. And you, you, you yeah, exactly right. We've got no we've got no tall players apart from the defenders. But also, we've not got any sort of muscly players that hold the ball up well mm. and keep possession. They get pushed off the ball so many times. There's no physical strength in there. No. Matty James, I thought, looked very, very comfortable on the ball today. Yeah. And he's probably the player this season that I've felt, you know, completely reliable on when he's got the ball. You know, he, he, his passing was superb. He held it up well. You know, his decision making was good. And um, I just hope some of his experience can rub off on the other lads because he's been a fantastic addition to the team. He's played an hour today, but you know it's some of the it's probably the best performance I've seen any player this season. Yeah, yeah, you could tell you could tell everyone. I mean, I were watching him, keeping us behind him, especially. I don't think he get ball away once. There were times where he were like just whipping it forward, but catching it really well. But apart from like when he had ball and he he got it at his feet and he could go with it, passing it nice and simple. Uh, and I don't think he did give, give all the way once. So, um, when will that win come though? I mean, Tuesday's a massive game now, isn't it? Back at home, would you say manager's first game as well in charge? Valeria and Ishmael? Uh, You'd I like don't... to think so. Um, it's definitely overdue. It's long overdue. Um, we just need a more complete performance. We need to carry on our first half into the second half. Mm. You can't compete for half a game. It's 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 not going to work. Mm. You need to, you know, we. It's in consecutive Saturdays now. We've Bristol City brilliant first half, poor second half. Yeah. And then Millwall today, you know, not a brilliant first half, but it was a, it was an, it was a good first half. And then and again, a poor second half. You need you need to have a more complete game, and you need to get the game management sorted out. You really do because you cannot be making the sort of mistakes that we did today and mm. so soon after scoring that clearance by Anderson was a <laughs> shambolic clearance set anyway and it's just you know put it in the, in the stand I, I don't understand how he managed to put it out for a corner from that I really don't no uh, I mean I mean that with game management maybe just maybe with a new head coach coming in it can be something that he implements in because it is a problem we've said it for the last few games now Bristol City Middlesbrough that game management is key so maybe that's something he he can bring, and uh, maybe a different style. Who knows? I don't I don't know what uh, what he'll bring to us. To be fair, but I wish him all the best. I don't know what your your thoughts on the appointment at were, Dave. Well, because um, it has been well mi- it has been mixed, hasn't it? It has been a bit of a mixed appointment. Yeah, I I feel underwhelmed, but I was expecting to feel underwhelmed because I just don't think the board are going to go for a manager that people are going to want you know it's it, they're always going to go abroad and for me you know you don't know what you're going to get it's, it's like a lucky dip you know if you go with someone that's got previous experience in the championship or the football league you know you, you know about them it's, you know he's a completely new guy to me I, I've not seen his style of football I just you, you just don't know what you're going to get it's like mm. you put your hand in and grab something out and it could be good or it could be really bad mm. but um he's got he's got to bring something different to the team um, I just hope he doesn't push us backwards because, you know, game management aside, I think we have improved over the last couple of games, uh, mm. the last three under, under Murray. You know, we've, we've been playing much better football than we have under, under Struber. I just I just hope he doesn't push us backwards. Mm. A lot of people were saying Murray's two last night on Twitter. And I'm terrified of that being the case. <laughs> oh, I am as well. well. <laughs> we can't, we can't yeah. be doing with that again. Cannot go through that again. Uh, yeah. Right, Dave, pleasure to speak to you. Um, preview tomorrow if you're free. Uh, but I, from five onwards, I'll let you know a time if, if you want to join us. If you've not on, you can, you're more than welcome to. Um, yeah, no problem. I'm, I'm free tomorrow, definitely. Brilliant, mate. All right, I'll speak to you uh, tomorrow then. And I'll let you know a time. It might be from, might be five to either between, between five and seven, something like that. Yeah, any time's good for me, so whatever's fine, yeah. All right, mate. Pleasure. Well, I'll speak to you soon. All right, buddy. All right.